Leaders are getting ready to discuss ways to keep public pools open for longer this summer. This comes after Parks and Rec just opened all 21 pools for the season, but this morning we're still waiting to see if any cuts will be made. 13 News reporter Jack Cooper joins us in the studio this morning. Uh, Jack kind of seems like impossible that we're talking about cutting hours at the pool right now, but what's going on with this whole thing? Yeah, Carson and Tyler, good morning. So last year when the Parks and Rec Department opened all of the pools, they quickly ran through their budget. So this year they realized they'd have to make some changes and that can include a 37% cut in hours compared to last year. Now, when I spoke to the department, they told me that this was a way to be more mindful of the budget and to be more efficient with their resources. All of the pools are fully staffed with lifeguards, which is going to cost the city about $200,000 to pay them all. Then they're also going to uh, be opening three new splash pads next month. And while every single pool has its own schedule, the splash pads are open every day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And all pools and splash pads are completely free. Yes, we do have lifeguards at the pool, but we also want you to help us keep your kiddos safe and keep an eye out for what's going on at the pool. They are going to be busy um, and it's going to be great to, to dive in, especially to the summer pools that have been closed up until now. Um, so we just want everybody to be mindful and let's partner together on keeping everyone safe. Now, also this year, the department is planning to keep track of attendance numbers to see which weeks are the busiest and to see when the pool season starts to come to a close. That way they can be better prepared for next year. Tyler. Well, Jack, looking forward here, are there any projects that involve adding more pools to our area to hopefully ease some of that stress? Yeah, so Joaquin Marietta Park has been undergoing a massive renovation for, we, we know, months now. And when it wraps up, it'll actually have the first splash pad in Ward 1. And then on the south side, Santa Rita Park is expected to undergo a huge renovation starting at the end of this year. All right, Jack, thank you. Now, also tomorrow, leaders are set to discuss